You're struggling to get great sleep this summer and you're not the only one. Let me share with you how to get the perfect summer slumber. Welcome to Triumph with Trent. If you want to optimize your mind and body, make sure to commit to Triumph by hitting that subscribe button. It's no surprise that you're having trouble sleeping during these warm, active, long summer days. And I've come up with five strategies that you can implement to minimize the drowsiness that you're waking up with. The number one way we're affecting our sleep during the summer is through temperature. We know the optimal sleeping temperature is 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit. So prior to laying down for bedtime, we need to cool off our bedrooms. We can do this by turning on the air conditioning. If you don't have that available to you, turn on a fan or even shut all of your blinds in your room so your bedroom's not heating up during the day. Another couple ways that we can bring our core body temperature down before rest is by drinking cold water. You can also hop in a hot shower or hot bath with Epsom salts and lavender oil. That way it's bringing the blood flow to the surface and when you step out, it's gonna bring your core body temperature down. Make sure to shed that winter comforter that's gonna just keep you up at night and wake you up with hot sweats in the middle of the night. Number two is nutrition. We've all been to that summer barbecue that drags on and we indulge in that large helping of food that is counterproductive to our sleep at night. If you must eat a meal real late in the summer, make sure to keep it in a small portion. You can fight off hunger by eating almonds or walnuts that contain melatonin and will help you achieve a better night's sleep. I would avoid eating any spicy or acidic foods that are gonna lead to acid reflux and indigestion. I would also avoid high in fiber and fat foods that will be more difficult to digest and keep you up at night. A couple fruits that you can eat during the summer to help you sleep are bananas and kiwis. Bananas have tryptophan and magnesium to help you fall asleep and keep you asleep longer. And kiwis had a four week study done with 24 participants that showed eating two kiwis one hour before bed helped participants fall asleep 42% faster and kept them from waking up during the night, which improved by 5%. Also, the time that they slept increased by 13%, and they think this is due to the serotonin in kiwis that helps regulate our sleep-wake cycle, our circadian rhythm. The third thing keeping us up during these summer nights is our activity level before bed. Yes, activity during the day is gonna help us achieve a deeper level of sleep during the night, but it's counterproductive for us to have high levels of activity right before bed. I know a lot of us are boating, running with friends and family around the campfire and camping, but we need to avoid having high levels of activity because it's gonna activate our nervous system, raise our core body temperature, and release endorphins in our brain to keep the chatter going in our brain. Number four is nootropics and supplements. There's a long list of supplements whether you wanna fall asleep faster or achieve a better quality sleep during the night. So I'm gonna put up two lists here and here that you can check out. Make sure you're subscribed so when I jump into this topic on another video, you're gonna get the latest information. My top recommendations from my life are magnesium. There's seven types and you can get magnesium through eating leafy vegetables, nuts, and seeds. The second one is L-tryptophan that helps increase serotonin in your head and also melatonin which your body produces naturally. Make sure if you're taking melatonin, take it in small amounts, one to two grams, because if you take too much, it's just going to lead to drowsiness and brain fog the next day. So make sure you get that sunlight in the morning to deplete that melatonin. The last thing leading to poor sleep during the summer is number five, seasonal time change. Both seasonal time changes tend to disrupt our sleeping habits and circadian rhythm, which creates a disconnection between our daily schedules and our internal clocks. Springtime change tends to disrupt us the most 
because if you're a night owl and find it hard to wake up early in the morning, you're asked to wake up one hour earlier. What you can do about this is control your circadian rhythm. I have some other videos on this, so make sure you go check them out. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Make sure to drop a comment if you're doing something fun this summer or have a question you wanna ask me. Like this video if you learned something and commit to Triumph by hitting that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.